my channel. So today we're going to have a first look at the R1250 RT dash. It's new for 2021, 10.5 inch, all singing, all dancing. So without further ado, let's crack on. So guys, we're going to have a look at the R1250 RT LE and its new dash. So the dash is a 10.5 inch TFT dash. As you can see, it's got the general display of the existing TFT dash, but it has got this extra section which you can make use for a lot of things. So currently it's set on navigation. If we notch the wheel, you can select media, you can have that displayed as you're riding. If you notch it again, you can have your trip computer, you can have your onboard computer. But the big thing obviously is a sat nav, so you've got everything that you could want there, but your sat nav in a separate bit. So the technician that's PDI in this bike has connected his phone to the bike. And you do that with the BMW Motorrad Connected app. So if you want to activate a detailed navigation, you press map mode. Okay, and it'll work its magic and it'll bring up a detailed map. Now, if you're not so bothered about you know having your revs on show or anything like that, and you want the navigation screen to be a lot bigger, what you do very much like the TFT screen on the BMW RS GS uh, 2018 onwards, anything that's got the TFT, you press this and it'll take you down to navigation you press navigation and it'll show you the main screen so you've got an actual map there you've still got turn by turn which is quite nice you've got your zoom in here so if you wanted to zoom you'd notch it that way and then you can zoom in by scrolling it gets really close as well, so if you're in some niggly towns and you're, you're not sure, it gives you sort of an outline of buildings as well. So if you want to zoom out, it can take you really far out. Again, just twisting the wheel. And it goes really far. If you want to come out of that, you just notch it that way. And you're out of that. Here. If you notch it that way, you can scroll up, you can have a route preview, you can select an alternative route, you can scroll through these options here, and if you want an alternate route, just select it like that, and it'll offer you a different route. If we press the down button, which is here, you've got active route guidance. So it's saying that we're currently going to Shell petrol station. You can select a new destination. You can find recent destinations. You can find favorites. And you can save these in the app so it'll recognise it. And you've got points of interest, so you've got along the route, you've got current location. And it'll take you to petrol stations, eat and drink, park and rest, lodging, health, other. Which is quite a nice feature. Again, settings, route criteria. You can select the route type, so you can have fast, short, winding. So winding's particularly good if you want to get out on a Sunday and it's nice and sunny. Oh, to dream right now. And then there are things that you can avoid. So you can avoid motorways, toll routes, unsurfaced roads, ferries, tunnels, which is pretty cool. Route information, you've got destination, you've got waypoint, map view. So you can see there's a few different displays, 
North Journey Perspect. If we select Journey, if we select North, so it just shows you how it's going to be displayed. Map mode, automatic, you can have it in day or night. So this just helps if you're riding at night, you know, it's dark on your screen, it's not blinding you, which is pretty nice. You've got auto zoom function, which is off, but you can switch that on. And it shows you traffic as well, which we've got currently on. And as you can see, if we remove it, it takes rid of those, it gets rid of those red lines on the M60. So that's quite handy. If you're setting off in the morning somewhere, you can see if there's going to be a better route to take. Spoken instruction, that's currently switched on. So it will speak and tell you where to go, or you can switch it off if you don't want to. Now you can actually keep your phone in here. You've got a little USB port and it does also offer wireless charging as well. Which is quite interesting. So I think that is the base of the navigation. I know it's the big thing that everybody was interested in. Because your phone's connected it obviously shows you your battery life, your signal. And as well as a detailed look at where you go in. It's also just got turn by turn navigation street names. So you can ride with this on your screen, you've still got your miles an hour displayed, you've still got your gear indicator, you've still got your fuel and you have your speed limits as well. So I hope this video has been informative and yeah, first look at the new RTLE dash.